please join me in welcoming Stan Phelps to the stage. It was the summer of 2009. My colleague and I, Brad, were at a New York City bar, one of these rooftop bars. And we were waiting for a couple friends before going to a networking event. And we were enjoying, as you only can in New York City, a $14 beer. <laughs> if, if that's at all possible. And as we were waiting there, I noticed there was an older gentleman sitting across from us. And this gentleman would change my life, what I call my moment of truth. And I watched this older gentleman for about a half an hour, and every once in a while I can see him scan the room. And it was obvious to me he was waiting for someone. So a half an hour goes by, I start feeling bad for him. So I lean in and I say to him, I go, excuse me. I said, do you know we spend 10% of our life waiting? Would you guys agree with that? Now, I know it's true because I once read it online. (laughs) So it has to be true. And he looked at me, he says, I am waiting for somebody. And I looked at him, I said, well, obviously, they're not on time. And this guy said something to me that changed my life. He said, on time, he says, no one in life is ever on time. I said, wait a second. I said, I've been on time before. Not often. And I'll never forget this. He raised his finger to me and he gave me the Dikembe finger wave. And he said, no. He says, no one is ever on time. He said, on time is a myth. People in life are either early or they're late. No one is ever on time. And right then, as he told it to me, I said, something clicked. Because that same reasoning applies to the customers that we serve every day. Does anyone just meet the expectations of a customer? No, it's impossible. You either exceed their expectations or you fall short. And this is what I've come to learn. Mere satisfaction is nowhere near enough. In fact, research by Fred Reichelt says customers that are either satisfied or very satisfied, 60 to 80 percent, that's what they describe themselves right before they defect to another brand. You know, I've worked in marketing for almost 25 years. And this is what I've come to understand. Your brand today is no longer what you tell people it is. It just isn't. It's what your customer experiences. It's how they feel. And most importantly, it's what they tell to other people. Now, I'm not the only one who thinks this experience that you provide for your customer is vital. This is research by Gartner. Gartner said that just this year, 89% of businesses believe that customer experiences is the thing that they're going to mainly compete on. 89%. You only have to go back five years ago. That number was 36%. I believe there's one word that can change the way that we think about how we treat our customers. And it comes from New Orleans. It's called Lanyap. And Lanyap is this idea of how do you do the little extra? It's, it, in Creole, it means the gift. How can you give just a little bit more to exceed those expectations? And it's embodied in a concept that I call the purple goldfish. The signature little things that differentiate you from your competition. This is what I've also learned. All customers are not created equal. If someone refers you and tells a friend to come in, that customer is upwards of four times as valuable. They refer twice the amount of people. They will spend over their lifetime up to twice the amount with you. So here's my challenge as you leave here. 
I want you to be thinking about your customers. What's the signature extra that you provide? What's going to make them tell their friends about that experience? Because here's the honest truth. The little things can make the biggest difference.